Hi, my name is Pam Stewart and welcome to my channel. I'm an author of young adult science fiction and fantasy and today I would like to speak to you about why you might not be writing. And maybe come up with a few ways that you might actually start writing again. Okay, due to the coronavirus, so many people are stuck at home and um, if you've had a day job for all your adult life, this is the first time you've had any stretch of time when you could actually decide what you can do. And it's kind of freeing, especially if you're a writer as well as a full-time worker, which is my case. First, I want you to remember that writing is a marathon and not a sprint. If you work a full-time job, you're used to like shoving your writing in between the cracks of the day. Um, and so basically you've trained to be a sprinter. This is not a sprint. This is a marathon. If you're trying to write, go from writing an hour here or there, or maybe two tops to eight hours, your body, body and mind and spirit are not prepared for that. You have to train. So to write about the same amount of time you normally write, but then add on, add on 15 minutes, add on a half an hour. And um, as you know, the next day, maybe add on 45 minutes and see how you feel. Like check in with yourself and make sure that you're not over stressing yourself. Um, and if you can do more, do more. Another thing you might be doing is getting into a doom scroll, which I have done because of all the negativity out in the world right now and all the loss of life and horrible things. It's easy to get sucked into what reading news reports constantly and checking your social media feeds. And my suggestion on that is um, try to use a Pomodoro timer. Um, there's a few Google Chrome extensions that you can get. Um, there's also another uh, software you can put on your phone. It's called Forest and basically you plant a tree and then it grows over the like 25 minutes you're doing your Pomodoro and if you click out of your sprint then it will kill your tree and who would want to kill a tree and if you earn enough points you can actually have the um, the forest company will go out and actually plant a tree so it's very exciting so I would try some, uh, an app like that which it, it'll track your internet time too which is kind of scary when you're off work and there's so much going on in the world you want to kind of check in on it constantly. Uh, those two Pomodoro type timers will be very helpful. So if you do feel the need to check in, I mean of course we have to stay informed, but you don't have to stay informed every hour on the hour. So focus on getting some words in in that 25 minutes. Uh, distractions from uh, another reason you might not be writing would be distractions and I have one over here his name is Oliver which I have introduced him already and Petunia who is off screen right now and they decided they want attention um, I try to go uh, personally I try to go to another part of the house and close the door or I try to write when they're napping and I know some people have human Kin, hurry, human, furry, children. No, the humans are not furry. Only the cats are furry. So you can maybe have your significant other or uh, whoever is living with you perhaps take some time with those children just for a few hours a day. And then you could trade them maybe washing the dishes. Who knew the apocalypse would have so many dirty dishes? Honestly, but eating at home is hard. And after, you know, using your Pomodoros and having somebody take care of your furry kin, you're still kind of blocked. I'm going to say do some intentional procrastination. And that means doing something that's monotonous, that doesn't um, take up too much of your mental space. Uh, wash the dishes, clean the house, sort some laundry, something that's not going to take up more energy. Uh, don't get on the news. Don't, don't, don't start scrolling and messaging your friends. 
keep your mind sort of on where the story's going. Another um, thing you can do is feed your muse. And this is super important, especially during this time when all we're seeing is negativity and and um, things that pull us down and makes a makes a makes our imagination want to go and hide in the corner. Feed your muse with things that make it happy, things that make you happy, um, and it will come out in your stories. Um, I'm a fan of Star Trek and the new Picard. I'm giving myself a treat after I get my writing done. I'm allowed to watch. An episode and I find that after I watch an episode of Picard uh, my sci-fi vibe is strong and it makes me very motivated to go back to my own writing um, the next day or put, pick up a book there's so many great sci-fi books out there or fantasy books or things that don't have to do with any uh, reality I mean Lord of the Rings if you've never read the actual books they're delightful, I gotta say. And if you love the movies, watch the movies. It, it gives you that sense of peace. I mean, I would live in the Shire in a heartbeat. If someone told me the Shire exists, I would go live there. Another tip um, would be to join a group of other writers online. There's lots of groups and things on, that are going on right now. My biggest thing that's coming up in a few days is Camp NaNoWriMo. I am a big proponent of camp. Um, it is, if for those of those who don't know, it's um, National Novel Writing Month, but they do two other sections that are called camp. So it gives you a little more flexibility. Normally, NaNoWriMo is a goal of 50,000 words in one month. Um, and you do it in a community of other writers so that you feel motivated when you see other people's, you know, numbers going up, you know, it gives you that motivation. Plus there's a strong community online on Facebook and there's uh, forums where you can get ideas and, and meet new friends. The camps are a little more flexible. They allow you to choose other goals. So this year, my goal is going to be to edit my book Cadet, which is hopefully coming out in the summer. Um, I'm making tremendous progress um, with the edits now and after camp, which my goal is to edit two hours a day, which is 120 minutes a day times 30, which is 3,600, you know, minutes that I'm going to have um, to edit and hopefully I'll even do some more than that, but you know, get it in good shape so I can um, get it out there to the people who would like to read young adult science fiction, with sort of like Battlestar Galactica and Ender's Game, which is another one of my favorites. Um, so uh, join, and if you want to, I would love to be your friend on NaNoWriMo. So if you're new or if you've been around for a while, it doesn't matter, um, friend me up. I'm Pam Stewart on there. Just look for Pam Stewart. And um, I would love to have you in my cabin or however they're doing it this year. And we can encourage each other to get some words in, even in a disaster, even when bad things are happening, we can be friends and encourage each other. Um, I hope something in this video was helpful to you. Uh, and I pray for all of you out there that you're safe. Uh, writing and, and reading for me have always been a solace and they've always given me comfort. And um, I hope that you can find that same comfort in that. Um, so if you like these kind of videos, I'm usually much more upbeat. I like to talk about geeky things like Firefly and Buffy. Uh, so subscribe to my channel. Give me a like if you found any of this helpful. And comment on any of the things that you're doing to keep your mind on your writing. Do you have any um, tips or hacks? I'm the hack queen. So anything that you're doing out there that would that might help me, I would appreciate the, the share. Also, um, if you would like, I, I might be doing some live streams with uh, that would allow us to type and write together so we can have like a little fun, um, little timed writings and things. So if you're interested, leave a comment below. I'd just like to know somebody's out there and not just taping myself and talking to myself out there. <laughs> but thank you all for watching. I appreciate it so much. Take care and remember right on right now.